I was watching a video by Forrest Knight where he mentioned running Linux on Windows using something called WSL. And it got me curious if it would work well with testing Flutter for the web. WSL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux and allows developers to run a Linux environment directly on Windows without needing a virtual machine or a dual boot setup. Note that for WSL to work on your machine, you need to have Windows 10 and a computer with Hyper-V virtualization support. To see if you have Hypervisor installed, press the Windows key plus R and type in msinfo32. Scroll to the bottom and if you have Hypervisor enabled, it should say down here at the bottom. Mine said a hypervisor has been detected, which based on what I read means that I'm running Windows in a container possibly but I'm not, so I'm not sure why mine said this. After I verified compatibility, I pressed Windows plus R again, typed in PowerShell, and then pressed Control plus Shift plus Enter to run it as administrator. Then I typed in WSL dash dash install and hit Enter to install WSL on my machine. I then restarted my machine and when it started loading back in, it resumed installing Ubuntu on the system. I did get this error message that said something about the virtual machine or container was not running, but I was able to just click start and Ubuntu and it started installing. I then typed in a username and a password and I have a command line. Also, this message is shown once once a day. Now that Ubuntu is installed, I did a sudo apt update and a sudo apt upgrade to get the system software current. I then installed the Apache web server by typing in sudo apt install Apache 2. Once Apache was installed, I updated the ports for Apache to run off of port 8081 instead of the default port 80. Then I restarted the Apache service. After restarting Apache, I opened up Microsoft Edge and tested to make sure the server was running on port 8081. I opened up a command line and went to my Flutter directory and created a Flutter project to test with. I then CD'd into the project and typed Flutter build web to build a web compatible version of the project. I then verified we had an HTML file in the build web folder of the project. After the project was built, I went back into Ubuntu and copied the files from the build web folder to the var www html folder. The C drive is mounted to slash mnt slash c in Ubuntu, so I typed in the path to the project and copied it. Opening back up Microsoft Edge and going to localhost port 8081 showed me that I was able to successfully get a Flutter web project running inside the web server of WSL. You can even have multiple sites running in there using virtual hosts and your host file. If you'd like to see how to do that, leave a comment below. You might also like this video here, and if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. Thanks, and I hope to see you in the next one.